By watching or listening to this show, you are acknowledging that you are of legal age to purchase and consume cannabis in your region. This production is for adults only. Have you seen the slash? Made by users for users. Engineered for flavor. One of the coolest features around. A built-in loading tool. Learn more at www.stonesmiths.ca. What's that strain? Let's find out with Chris Ionson, Nova Cannabis store manager and educator. And bring in my good friend and our educator here on What's That Strain, Chris Science, in the manager at Nova Cannabis, Jasper Ave. Uh, back on Jasper Ave, last time we chatted, uh, you were out in the fort. So good to be home, as they say, Chris. Yes, it is, Dean, for sure. Uh, yeah, it's great to be back at, uh, at Jasper Ave, for sure, man. Thanks for having me today. Not a problem. Uh, I, I know um, things are uh, very busy out there right now, and uh, the measures that the uh, the Premier uh, announced today, bringing in uh, capacity even lower, even more and more important for people out there. When you are shopping for your cannabis, use that click and collect method. You can go through the Leafly site. You can not only save time for yourself in the store as a consumer, but also saves the interaction time. And you can shop the uh, the menu and, and find out exactly what's going on. So right now, more than ever, click and collect and wearing masks and things like that. So very important for the consumer and for you guys as well, Chris. Yeah, yeah, you said it, Dean. Well said, man. It's uh, it's super important. You know, we're trying to limit uh, the time in the store there and especially with the, uh, the limited capacity too, uh, you know, uh, we don't want people uh, having to wait outside, but it's it's going to happen if we if we do get to that capacity. So uh, yeah, it's better to limit your time in the store. All right, that's a very important thing. Use that click and collect. Uh, you just go through the Leafly site, and boom, you are there. And that's what I use to grab the cultivar that we are going with today. And that is uh, well, it's called Bruce. Uh, we know it as Bruce Banner. And, um, you know, I've been a fan of this uh, since uh, before legalization. I had it on the uh, the, the gray market at one point, and uh, it was uh, delicious. Uh, it was one, it is, it is certainly one of my favorites. It's actually one that I did in our original 12 cultivars of Christmas that we did last year. Right. Uh, and I'm a big fan of this. It's a 60-40 split. And uh, the LP uh, that we're going from today is 314 Pure. Uh, and Pool Boy is how we get this uh, pre-roll package, which you'll see in a second. They are the rec brand of 314 Pure. So tell us a little bit about this LP. Yeah, for sure, Dean. So they're uh, an Alberta uh, cannabis company. They got their licensing from Health Canada uh, to become an LP in August of uh, 2019. So uh, I guess a little uh, new, to, new to the market here with uh, compared to some of the OGs that are have been around. Um, they produce medicinal and recreational cannabis. And um, so far, we've seen dried flower and uh, pre-rolls from Pool Boy uh, here to the Alberta market. Uh, the license they acquired permits them to uh, to grow indoor, indoor cultivation, uh, sale of seeds and plants, and uh, the processing of cannabis materials. So uh, we're going to see some some limited series and and small batch offerings from them soon too. So it's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, I, any anytime I hear small batch, I get excited, Dean. Yeah, indeed, and and I always get excited about great stories. And you know what made them pick this name, or what made them go with this cultivar name, or the backstory of this. And and this particular cultivar does have a great backstory, but there's kind of a cool story with why three fourteen is uh, part of the name of this company. Yeah, Dean, it's uh, three fourteen is is the molecular weight of THC. Uh, so it's actually uh, 314.45 grams per mole, and that's uh, that's THC's molar mass. So uh, kind of you know breaking it right down to uh, the molecular level of of cannabis uh, to put it into their name. I think that's a pretty cool uh, shout out. Yeah, and I, I uh, think that's really cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Uh, and and it, as for as for the pool boy name, uh, I couldn't really find uh, too much info. I was kind of wondering maybe if it was uh, Pip the Pool Boy from the movie Arrow Airheads. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Adam the Adam Sandler character. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I I feel. Go ahead. No, I said that's interesting because there's a little tidbit later on I'm going to throw in about Adam Sandler when it comes to pool boy. So I I, I really like where you're going with that. If that <laughs> is, is the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Um, yeah, so um, the uh, the pool boy cannabis and, and three three one four pure cannabis. Um, they've got a state of the art facility, Dean, uh, in in Crossfield, Alberta, and mm-hmm. uh, and it's a uh, forty two hundred uh, forty two thousand, pardon me, square foot building, and it's on uh, sixteen acres of land uh, with expansion plans for another two hundred and seventy thousand square feet if needed. Uh, we're starting to see that a lot with uh, with the facilities uh, lately, where they they kind of start off. They but plans for expansion are always included there uh, because that's how the cannabis industry is uh, it's going in that direction, right? Um, and on that first batch, uh, that first grow, uh, all their administration space uh, was built into that first phase, so that on any uh, new expansions they do, it's just going to be for for grow room. So uh, really, really smart there too. Indeed, indeed, for sure. Um, these, uh, you know, w- w- we talk about uh, different kind of facilities all the time. We've been able to, uh, well, I visited one, you've been able to visit uh, several more, but there is something that is kind of special with uh, 314 Pure and the facility. They are looking kind of big picture, not just Canadian cannabis. Yeah, totally, Dean. Uh, that, that facility, it's, it's outfitted with the, the highest level of security, uh, and it's run with an exceptional operations, uh, like operating practices that um, make, uh, make it possible for the facility to become a, a fully EU GMP certified facility here in Canada. And that's, uh, that stands for the uh, European uh, Good Manufacturing Practice. And it's uh, uh, a really, really well-respected uh, certification, and it's a system that is, it, it ensures the products are consistently produced and, and controlled according to quality standards. So uh, it's pretty cool for them to, to you know, be the, the first in Canada uh, doing that on the, on the cannabis side of things. So uh, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and the way they grow um, is, is also, I think, uh, uh, something that uh, not everybody does, but it also is very healthy for the environment. Great cannabis as well. Tell us a little bit uh, about uh, the the hydroponics that they use. Yeah, for sure, Dean. So yeah, they're they're growing hy- hydroponically there at that facility, uh, and it allows them to produce high quality cannabis at, at a lower cost uh, while minimizing the environmental footprint because uh, they're they're recycling their water. Uh, they're also using industry leading energy efficient uh, lighting technologies. Um, so just really, really important things to have at, at a grow facility. Uh, and, and the grow team at 314, uh, they come from years and years of MMAR uh, experience. And that's the Marijuana Medical Access Regulations uh, Group. Uh, so just uh, all kinds of uh, legacy market experience there. And, and they have access to 75 different cultivars. So uh, we're going to see a lot more to come from these guys. That is, uh, it's very exciting, uh, especially on the cannabis space. All right, let's take our first look at the uh, packaging that we're going to get into as we dive a little bit more into uh, Bruce or Bruce Banner, as we know. So uh, we mentioned that uh, this is a 60-40 uh, sativa to indica hybrid. Tell us a little bit about the lineage uh, and, and break that down for us. Uh, yeah, for sure, Dean. So, um what we got in Bruce Banner, we've got uh, an OG Kush, uh, and it's an original OG from 2014. Is what we used for the original cutting of the Bruce, uh, and that's crossed with a strawberry diesel. Uh, so it's going to give us some some fruity gassy uh, gassiness there. Uh, so the OG Kush breakdown, that's a Chem Dog crossed with a, a Lemon Thai uh, Hindu Kush Pakistani, uh, and then the the strawberry diesel, we have a, a strawberry cough uh, crossed with a sour diesel. So a uh, big fan of the, the genetics there. The breakdown's great. Uh, yeah, it works for me, buddy. I love it. And I also love, as I mentioned, great stories. And when it comes to the breeder, um, the, the creation of this cultivar, you got a dandy for us. So tell us a little bit about the breeder behind this. Yeah, for sure, Dean. So it was uh, created by Colorado breeder uh, Dark Horse Genetics, and and that company was uh, was run by Jason Hulk, and it's H O L C K. 
uh, Hulk, uh, aka the OG Iron Lung. That was his uh, his nickname for a while there. That's what he went by uh, pre legalization. Uh, and this was in it was created uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, he grew up in Denver and grew cannabis in college discreetly. Uh, during the famed strawberry diesel hype of the mid 2000s, uh, he was lucky enough to to get his hands on some some strawberry diesel seeds. Uh, at the time, he didn't consider himself much of a breeder, but he knew he had some special. And uh, this was also right around the same time that he had gotten his hands on uh, some old school LA OG. Uh, and it was a pheno of a Cold Creek Kush. That's that, uh, that OG Kush, that original there. Um, and uh, those two cultivars were crossed. And uh, five phenos of, of Strawberry Kush uh, were created. It wasn't called Bruce Banner at, at mm-hmm. time of inception there. It was, it was Strawberry Kush at first. Uh, two, number two and number four were turfed. Uh, they just weren't quite the, the hit that, that he was looking for. Uh, numbers one, three, and five were all kept, and they've all been around, and, you, and you'll see them around. So uh, th- th- this is, brings up uh, something that maybe we haven't talked about uh, as much, or maybe uh, in a while, and that's phenotypes. Uh, there are different phenotypes of this. So, so maybe explain that quickly and, and what the more popular ones are. Yeah, for sure, Dean. So uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, breeders will do a, a pheno hunt where you've got uh, uh, a lot of the, the same genetics, uh, but you've got kind of variations uh, uh, going on them um, where, you know, you're going to have uh, a, a little bit more features from this this one parent than the other. There, there'll be It's not going to be identical genetics every time. And it's also uh, environmental uh, conditions factor into it as well. Um, so with the, with the, the Bruce Banner, or at this point, the Strawberry Kush, uh, the number one, uh, they say, is the best blend of the parents. It was right down the middle. So very uh, OG Kush and Strawberry Diesel, kind of a 50-50. Uh, number three is the most OG dominant, uh, and it's also the most popular. Uh, and that's it's referred to as the Banner OG, um, and that's typically the one that we'll, we'll see on the shelves. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, the, leaning on the OG Kush side. Uh, and then the number five is the more strawberry dominant. Uh, also very popular too, but uh, we won't see it as often as we will see the number three. Yeah, the number three is, uh, that's certainly the one that, that I've had in the past. Now, you mentioned it was uh, not called Bruce or Bruce Banner. And this is where great stories come in. And I love the research that you're able to to find on this stuff because it just, uh, I, I absolutely love it. This is an amazing, funny story about how the name came about and, and you know, what uh, Jason Hulk kind of like thought, ah, this this will work out. So lay this story on us. <laughs> totally buddy uh so uh jason hulk went to a, a string cheese incident concert uh, with some friends uh and when he went to that concert he brought some uh some pre-rolls of his strawberry kush and uh among this group of pals uh, there was an acquaintance from texas uh who kept calling jason hulk uh bruce banner where's bruce banner i need some more of that strawberry stuff where's bruce banner uh Kind of a play on on his last name there, uh, Hulk. Uh, you know the Incredible Hulk and Bruce Banner being the alter ego. Uh, but yeah, in a continuous hunt for that strawberry dankness, this uh, this fellow from Texas um, all night was asking, "Where's Bruce Banner?" Whenever he'd find him, he'd, "Ah, Bruce, I've missed you, buddy." You know, like let's 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 smoke another one of those joints. Uh, so uh, the name kind of stuck around, I guess, at, at that point, Dean. Oh man! I uh, see. That's the great thing about uh, cannabis and stories and backgrounds. Uh, you know, out of a concert, some guy had it in his head that this was Bruce Banner or the Hulk, and he went with it. So it's it's the great thing. You know, aside from the amazing uh, taste and the effects that we get from cannabis, we get amazing stories. And this cultivar in particular was really really popular in Colorado for a while. Probably still is, but at one point this. This one was like appointment uh, visit to get this cultivar, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was, Dean. Um, in, in 2008, uh, uh, Jason Hulk was discontent with the state of the cannabis market. He opened up uh, uh, the now closed uh, Delta 9 Alternative Medicine in Denver. And uh, among his 12 cultivars there, uh, Bruce Banner was one of them. And he hadn't released it to the public at this point. Uh, usually about uh, twice a month, uh, typically on Fridays, his dispensary would do a, a Bruce Banner drop days where they would let people know, hey, this this Friday coming up, we're dropping some Bruce Banner. Uh, and people would camp out Thursday nights on lawn chairs, um, trying to get a, a spot in line and make sure that you were guaranteed to get some of it. 
Um, hundreds of people would line up back then. And this is also back when it was the, the cannabis industry wasn't, it was still kind of in a gray area. So uh, it really worried Jason, uh, you know, you know, driving by his store and seeing, uh, you know, hundreds of people camping out there, uh, and not, not an ideal thing. But uh, I think that really speaks to uh, the popularity of Bruce Banner when it first hit and it first got passed around uh, the excitement of it because it's, it's a really fun cultivar to smoke. Yeah, that's indeed for sure. And, and, you know, when you talk about fun, that's where you get this website, www.poolboyco.com. Uh, this is the first thing you see when you go to their website. And I can't get past the age gating with this system, but this is where Adam Sandler comes in, dude. I immediately, when I was looking at this website and the things that you can see, I thought, Billy Madison, the pool parties with Sandler and Norm Macdonald. Hello, Mr. Penguin, <laughs> like all that stuff. So you were thinking pool of the, uh, the pool boy character. I'm thinking Adam Sandler. I know for sure this website makes me want to go to a pool party at some place, but there could be some more information and maybe they're ready to, to add, but pool boy, uh, pool boy co.com is the website. What do you think of my Adam Sandler reference? I, I love it, man, uh, for sure. And, and it, it does uh, it does remind me. I got that too. Uh, looking at the website, it's very just chill and uh, like it's a pool party. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wish and, I could get uh, past the age gating, uh, but on the system, I can't click into their, to put in their date because they do really have some good features, but it is missing some information. Yeah, it is, Dean, for sure. Uh, the, the one thing for me, I, I wish that I could have, you know, clicked in on the individual cultivars and gotten a little mm -hmm. bit more information on, on uh, you know, what what they're doing. But it, it was just kind of a quick snippet. So hopefully there's, uh, you know, uh, more to come from, from that too. For sure. 23.8% uh, is the THC percentage on uh, the package that I picked up. And uh, that's, you know, a little bit higher, but this is a hybrid. And we'll kind of tell you where we think that fits in on the scale a little bit later. Uh, I'll just say one thing. I, I wouldn't be too scared away by that 23%, 23.8%, but it is high. And this is uh, Bruce Banner can be, uh, can get up there as, as we're going to find out uh, what's in a name. Well, this um, is, you know, last name, pun of the character. What do you think? Uh, what's in a name for Bruce Banner? Yeah, so I, I think it like the name initially came from that that evening at the concert where this guy from Texas kept referring to him as Bruce Banner, and it mm -hmm. just kind of became a running joke with everyone that was kind of smoking it, and uh, that happens a lot with the cannabis uh, culture, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. We we love to laugh, we love to have fun, and kind of make jokes with things. Uh, um, so yeah, I think uh, it has to do with you know Hulk, the the Incredible Hulk, his alter ego being Bruce Banner. Um, some have said that it, you know, it was due to the buds being big and green, uh, you know, with a lot of strength, uh, you know, typically with the high THC. Uh, Bruce Banner has been known to come in at uh, 30% or, or higher even. Wow. Uh, and high yeah, High Times has, uh, has labeled it as uh, the most potent strain ever tested uh, is what, what came from the High Times uh Magazine, and uh, I also saw a, a real funny term of uh, it will get you ripped like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> so your clothes are going to be lying in the ground. You're going to be wearing like uh, shredded shorts and cars will be <laughs> overturned is what you're saying after I light this up. Yeah, yeah, Hulkamania <laughs> styles. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, before we uh, before I let this is what the, uh, the pre-rolls look like. So how much is in this pre-roll? So yeah, Dean, that's a, that's a 0.35 gram pre-roll. So it's, it's just a, a step under a half gram joint. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a big, big fan of, of these joints. We've seen a lot of, we've seen 10 packs. We've seen a lot of five packs and uh, even guys, companies are doing uh, uh, two packs of these smaller uh, joints. Uh, to me, this is like, this is a very personal joint. It's, it's all you need to, uh, to, you know, feel the effects and, 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 you know, it's, yeah, it's nice to smoke a, a one gram joint sometimes, uh, but it's, it's more than you need. You, you know, I find I always put, put them out. So this is a real good size for, for a one-time session with a person. Uh, the packs are great too for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with, with, with COVID times right now, you know, we're not, we're not sharing any doobies. So, um, you know, it's good to, uh, if you're socially distant, distantly hanging out with people, you can, 
uh, pass out a joint and, and, and it's not going to overwhelm anybody to be more than they need. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the packaging as we see on the screen. I love it. Finally, something blends in with my lighter. Uh, so it's awesome. And, uh, you know, this is easy to open. Uh, the, the joints are in there. It also came with the humidity pack. I'm a really big fan of that. So I like the packaging. What did you think of the packaging and uh, the uh, the rolls? Yeah, so big fan of the packaging, Dean. I, I love the color. They're, they're very colorful. Uh, they, they stick out in our deli cases. Um, I'm it's really easy to get into. And uh, yeah, like you said, the, that uh, humidity pack is, is huge for me. It's nice to know uh, it's going to stay fresh, even if it's been on the shelf for a bit. Um, I, I like the, the white rolling paper they used, a good size filter. Uh, not too big, but it, you know, it's just, just good for you know, fitting in between your fingers there. Um, yeah. I, I was a fan of the pool boy stuff and the, the packaging on, on how everything looked, Dean. All right. Uh, we uh, we actually uh, met up after your shift and uh, enjoyed uh, one of these in a socially distanced outdoor environment. Uh, and we got I brought Nosy McGee along with me to get her smell of what this is. It's, it's hard in with pre-rolls to get it, but uh, she got spice right away. Uh, what do you get with the smell of this? Uh, yeah, I get like a earthy and spicy, um, and I, I, I am getting a touch of sweetness too. Um, mm. you know, it's, it is harder to gauge with, with the pre-rolls. Uh, but I, I, I kind of, I was smelling kind of both ends of the pre-roll, uh, smelling a, a, a pack and the handful of joints just to try and, uh, get the smell. And I, I did feel like I got, I got something there. Uh, normally the Bruce Banner has a, has a gassy sweetness smell to it though. Um, that's, that's super nice. It's, I feel like it's, uh, something I look for in my cannabis. No doubt. Take us through the terpene profile. Yeah, so the terpenes we've got, uh, I've got linalool is the dominant terpene. On some uh, tests that I saw, it was like dominantly, it was like 4% uh, linalool, and the next the next uh, closest terpene was like 1%, uh, and it kind of trickled down from there. So uh, definitely linalool heavy. Uh, Caryophylline was was, uh, was second there, and that's black pepper and spice. And, uh, and pardon me, linalool is floral and lavender. I should... I mentioned to anyone that's not aware. Uh, and then we had humulene coming up in the rear there. Uh, and that's kind of a hops kind of uh, aroma. Um, so those are three kind of, uh, it's a neat combination of, of terpenes. Um, not not, a, not too common. Oh, cloud of smoke. <laughs> Holy smokes. Who's smoking? To quote ski school. Um, yeah, so I, I like the, uh, the terpene profile. And uh, we were kind of comparing notes yesterday. So... What was your experience when you first tried Pool Boy? And then uh, we'll see if it's similar to what I got. Uh, yeah, totally. So uh, my experience, I, I, I love that. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of the Bruce Banner. Uh, it's a real fun high. Uh, I'm going to maybe start with a, a, a one quick negative thing. Uh, I, I found my, my pre-rolls, uh, they went out quite a few times. And I had to, mm -hmm. to relight it. Uh, you know, I think you and I, we had to relight ours a couple times there too. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's, you know, the role uh, the bud or, you know, what have you, cause I've experienced this, you know, with, with stuff that I've rolled myself, uh, with, you know, good right. bud. Uh, but it, it went out a few times. So that was a little frustrating, but you know, get her lit, get her going, uh, tasted great. Uh, I found it, it hits pretty quick, you know, uh, midway through the joint, I started mm -hmm. to feel very uplifted. Uh, I get the smiles a lot with the, with the Bruce Banner puts me in a real good mood. Um, you know, euphoric head blasts uh, with a lot of creative energy too. Mm -hmm. um, I find it to be uh, very productive as well, Dean. Uh, getting stuff done around the house, laundry, dishes, cleaning. Uh, Bruce Banner is really good for that and it just makes it fun too. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I, I, I found the same thing about the joints going out. Is uh, and that's, a, that's a little bit frustrating. Uh, and, and it hit me part way through, we were chatting. It makes me a little bit chatty as you would have uh, been able to tell, uh, when we met up, I also get a little numbness. I don't know what, and I get this from different cannabis and you and I were talking about it a little bit of numbness in the top of my mouth, uh, with this. So I don't know. I'd love to investigate more about, you know, what might cause that, but that's interesting from some different kind of, uh, uh, cannabis, uh, that, that we've tried before. So, but it, it is. Uh, I love, I'm with you. I love Bruce Banner. I get a lot done. Uh, I got a lot done today uh, with some of it as well. Uh, what about the three W's? Who, what, and when is this good for? Uh, so who is good for intermediate smokers and up, I'd say. 
I, I think just due to the, the strength of the Bruce Banner, uh, you, you don't want this to be your, your first dip of dipping your toes in the water of, of, mm-hmm. of cannabis. Um, don't start with the Bruce Banner, but uh, uh, I think intermediate and up, Dean. Yeah, what about somebody that's uh, you know doesn't have a lot of experience, say is level one, they've experimented for a while. I think because of the blend, 60-40, it is a high THC, but I think with the blend, somebody, this would be a good, you know, I, I, I would be a little bit careful, but try it. If you're looking to go from level one to maybe level two, you've had some experience, you're looking to, you know, upgrade or, you know, go up a level with a, a little bit more of a cannabis, I think this one would could be a good one for that. Although it is high THC, it's pretty balanced, I find. Yeah, I, w- I would agree with that statement, man. It's it's not uh, too intense. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's the type of sativa I like, mm-hmm. uh, where it's not not too buzzy in the head. Um, you know, it, it's it's manageable, and and uh, you do feel it in the body too. So yeah, um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think you can. It's it's a good stepping stone, ready to step out a beginner. Um, what it's good for, Dean? Uh, concerts. Um, I, I just, it pre pre COVID, uh, Bruce Banner treated me well to a few concerts that I, I remember going to. Uh, so it was kind of cool to see that string cheat. Uh, bummer. Why not? <laughs> Damn. We're not just making this up. We're not just making this up. Yeah. But- Go, sorry about that. Go on uh, of, of concerts, <laughs> especially right now. We yeah. can't get to concerts. There's a lot of streaming concerts you can do. Totally. Yeah, for sure. And it's, yeah, it's still going to be good for that. Um, I also enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, uh, being out, uh, being social, uh, it's great for that. Uh, so hopefully once things are, are better with, uh, you know, in the world with this COVID stuff, uh, people are going to be, you know, step out and enjoy some, some Bruce Banner. Um, I think it's great for productivity and creativity as well. Uh, those two things, getting stuff done, uh, arts and crafts, people watching, uh, it's kind of a fun one for, uh, nature walks. It was really good. Um, uh, just overall being, being awesome, being deadly. All right. And think, when uh, is it good yeah, for? I, and when it's good for, Dean, uh, daytime and early evening. Uh, I wouldn't hit the Bruce Banner too late in the day as mm. it, uh, it might keep your mind racing a little bit. All right. So the taste with this, uh, fruity, earthy, uh, some sweet and sour as we wrap things up here. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, it's uh, like you said, they're earthy. It's got, got that little bit of gas there. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, but it's nice, man. I, I I'm a big fan of the uh, the pool boy. Uh, just just wish those pre rolls would stay lit. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Bruce Banner. Looking forward to more from a pool boy. And please, if you are out getting your cannabis, use the click and collect at at all Nova locations. Go through the Leafly site. Uh, it's quicker for the consumer. Keeps the bud tenders safe. Thanks as always for joining us, Chris. And remember, we've got the twelve cultivars of Christmas going each day until December twenty fourth. We'll talk next week. Yeah, sounds good, Dean. Thanks for having me.